thank, thank you all for coming out. There's some uh, questions I think take a while to answer, so I'm going to try to get right into it. Um, my name is Bill Martin. I'm running for re-election. I kind of view the role of a city councilor as maybe five aspects. One is, yes, we hire the manager, the auditor, and the clerk. We do adopt and set the budget. We adopt ordinances. Uh, we respond and bring forward constituent requests and concerns. And then I think it's also incumbent upon a, a good city council to have kind of an overall vision for the city, which informs how you uh, act in those first four areas. Um, another question that we've been asked to answer is what are the elements of a balanced budget? It's pretty simple. You have to spend less than what they have to balance what comes in. That's what you, that's what you have available to spend on services that taxpayers demand. Um, is our current budget what is expendable and what is not? And how would you increase costs, uh, reduce costs and raise revenue? I think the biggest issue we have uh, and the biggest opportunity to raise costs is with health insurance. We did that in the current budget year. We're in negotiated settlement with uh, all the city department unions resulted in savings of over a million dollars. We have the potential this year if we adopt state legislation that other surrounding communities have already adopted, like Chemford and Westford, to save much more. Councils voted to uh, negotiate with the unions for a 90-day period, and then if that doesn't work, we're gonna potentially we have the ability to adopt this state legislation. That's going to be the biggest area to save money. Re to raise revenue, non-tax revenue, one example is an ordinance we adopted this year uh, requiring national lenders to bring their properties into compliance. Uh, that raised a half a million dollars in, in fines and unpaid fees. So those are some of the things that we've been working on, some of the opportunities that we have ahead of us. Uh, I'll have more to say, uh, hopefully, in the questions and in the conclusions. But Bill Martin, thank you very much. I appreciate one of your work. My, my idea is, I guess, on the budget, things I would uh, suggest is, is, yes, we do need to expand the tax base, and we have done that. Target is an expansion of the tax base. Lowe's, the new Jean d'Arc Credit Union, there is growth in the Hamilton Canal District, the new Appleton Mills Complex, the Lowell Community Health Center. Those are all new growth items uh, in the budget. Yes, taxes have gone up, and it's almost unavoidable in a period of declining state aid like we've been in. But there is new growth in that levy every year. Uh, this year we got a letter from the State Department of Revenue. It said Lowell has done a remarkable job during difficult financial times over the past few years to improve their situation. In closing, I want to commend you, your staff, and all the elected officials of Lowell for a job well done. That's the Department of Revenue taking Lowell off a watch list, which we put on in 2006. So I think we have turned the finances of the city around. I think we're in very solid financial ground. We don't have a lot of the problems that the other places have. Um, I'm Bill Martin, and request one of you